In this video, I'm sharing some of my visits to Rocky Mountain National Park during the spring season back in May and June. Let's get started. All right, so I'm sitting here at the Sheep Lakes parking area in Horseshoe Park, and I'm trying to show you here on the phone, and I'm hoping it's gonna show up well. I'm using the AR view of photo pills, and as you can see, actually the moon's gonna be hidden behind Deer Mountain over there for quite a while during the early stages of the eclipse from this vantage point. So I'm gonna drive down the road just a little bit to change the angle enough so that the moon will come up next to Deer Mountain instead and I can photograph it going through the various stages of the eclipse as it moves towards the total lunar eclipse. So let's get back in the car and drive down just a little bit to my spot. All right, so I've driven down the road a little bit to my spot and I'm actually using the AR mode in TPE here, which I haven't really tried to use before, but. This is showing it well that from this spot, the moon will skirt up just to the left of Deer Mountain there, and then up over the top of it as it goes into the full eclipse. So this is gonna be my spot to shoot it from. I hope that showed up decently well on camera here, but I can get in close there so you can see it. Yes, this is my spot, so. I'm going to start getting my gear out and getting ready because the moon will be rising here in just a little bit. But not a bad spot. And you got the Fall River running down there below. It's got a decent amount of flow because the snow is starting to melt. And it is nice and clear. So I'm excited to get started. All right. We're out here. I've got the camera set up with my 70 to 200 and I'm starting to capture shots of the moon as it is coming up next to the mountain. I'll flip the camera around so you can see it teeny tiny there through the trees with my wide angle lens on my Osmo. But this isn't actually where I'm shooting from. I have a more wide open view where my camera is. But basically I'm trying to get the stages of the moon as it slides up alongside the mountain and then it'll be in total eclipse as it gets to the top. But it's a beautiful cloudless night up here in Rocky Mountain National Park. We have the sound of the Fall River running below us. So nice. I'm gonna go ahead and show you my shot here. I'll brighten this up so you can actually see the landscape of it. Basically, I'm having the moon follow up the left side of the mountain there. And I've already taken, before it got dark, I took a landscape shot including the mountain. Basically, I'm just going to capture multiple frames of the moon as it moves up along the side of the mountain there and then up above it as it goes into total eclipse. So, shots of the moon are much darker so that I can hold detail. I'm doing this with my 70 to 200, and I think it's at about 85 millimeters. And I'll blend all those together into a composite style that I don't normally do, but I'm going to try it for this. Over about an hour and a half of time from when the eclipse got started just after sunset until well into the full totality phase, I captured over 100 shots of the moon moving up along the side of Deer Mountain and changing from partial eclipse into total eclipse. After spending a long time merging all those photos together in Photoshop, 
this is the final result. create this composite image of the lunar eclipse, I used 16 of the shots that lined up the best of the moon and laid them on top of a foreground shot of Deer Mountain and the night sky to give it a semi-realistic appearance of covering the hour and a half of time that these shots were captured in. So after getting the shot with the moon going through the phases and into the full eclipse as it moved up along the side of Deer Mountain, I've swapped out to my 200 to 500 lens and I'm getting some tighter shots of the moon fully eclipsed right now with the stars and I'll give you a look at that on the back of my camera and it just went to sleep on me. I'm zoomed in all the way at 500 millimeters and the moon's probably just a little tiny dot here with the wide angle lens on the Osmo. But there's my shot. I'll probably crop in a little bit more as well just because even at 500 millimeters the moon doesn't anywhere come close to filling the frame. But you can maybe see besides the moon I'm also getting a little bit of stars in the background which is kind of cool. So. But now there's a cloud passing in front of us again. And we are just beginning to exit the total phase here. As you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of brighter light on the bottom of the moon there as it just starts to move out of the Earth's shadow. But all in all, there's been clouds here and there, but Overall, it's been a very good night. Standing out here on the edge of the rushing river makes it very nice and pleasant. As you can see up there and on the back of my camera here, we are out of the total eclipse phase now and back into the partial. The bottom of the moon is starting to light up. And that means I'm going to bring this back up so you can see it better. I'm gonna start wrapping this up for tonight as I have gotten all the good shots that I wanted to get. and my battery just went dead because that is the one downfall of mirrorless cameras. They just plow through their batteries. <laughs> All right, hello everybody. We are up here in Rocky Mountain National Park for the day. Our first stop here is at Horseshoe Falls to see the water running. And he wants to show you his dinosaur. Head up on top here shortly to see what's going on up on Trail Ridge. So this is New York and on fire. All right, so let's get started. First weekend of June, just after Trail Ridge Road had opened for the season, I took my kids up to the park to see what we could see in the higher elevations and see how much snow was left. 
Along the way, we had our first wildlife encounter of the day with this mother moose and her baby off to the side of the road in the shade along the edge of the forest. All right, we're stuck waiting in the back up here on Trail Ridge Road. We're about to go above tree line. So there's a big rock that fell on the road up here that I've seen pictures of it. So it's one side at a time, so we're waiting to get through. We'll see you here shortly. Oh, here we go. here at the rock cut overlook this is one of the highest overlooks on trail ridge road at over 12,000 feet and it's often quite a bit colder here than it is in Estes but it has one of the most beautiful views in the park and we'll show it to you right now This is the Gore Range Overlook because way out there in the distance you can actually see the Gore Range of Summit County out there kind of in the haze way beyond there. But it also provides one of the best views of the, number, of the Never Summer Range here in the park. So it's another one of my favorite overlooks to stop at just below the highest point on the road at over 12,000 feet before you drop down to the Alpine Visitor Center just beyond here to the east. All right, this is my first time revisiting the west side of Rocky since the fires in October of 2020. And Wow, uh, this was our favorite picnic area over here in Harbison Meadows before the fire. But, I mean, look at these hillsides up above here, just completely wiped out, burned to the ground. It's crazy. first views of the damage from the East Troublesome Fire, even a year and a half after it happened, were jarring to say the least. Although life is starting to return to the burn area, the damage was so deep and extensive that it will be a long time before these hillsides look normal once again. Got a few more moose out here. There's two over there. Maybe a mother and like a yearling baby. It doesn't look like a full grown adult there on the left, but it's bigger than a newborn. Heather. And then over here, which is probably gonna be hard to see with the pocket, but I'll show you some shots. We have a mother and a really young baby moose back there. And I'll show you some photos of those now. This young one was intent on exploring the open meadow, 
But when it would start to get too far away, the mother would call and it would come running back to safety. All right, so we are going for a walk on the Coyote Valley Trail. We have seen 12 moose so far today, including two babies. So it's been quite the day for wildlife. I'm hoping there's going to be some uh, wildflowers out here on the trail, maybe. Maybe some more wildlife. This trail on the west side of the park follows along the side of the Colorado River and is also accessible for wheelchairs. So off we go. Besides the main trail in Coyote Valley, there's also some side trails that run along the river that are a little smaller. Give you a little different look while you're out here. The views from the trail are nice with the Colorado River and the Never Summer Mountains looming above. Daddy, which way? Which way, are we which way do you want to go? As is typical here in Colorado, we have afternoon storms passing through. And some interesting clouds over the Never Summer Mountains over here. Dark and stormy. Back here behind me is one of the nicer views of Long's Peak and the other mountains along the section of Trail Ridge Road just below Deer Mountain here. And I've tried to grab some shots of it with those interesting storm clouds above. So if it's a good shot, here's the shot. As if we hadn't seen enough baby animals today, there's an elk mother with its baby that is nursing. I don't know how well you can see it here on the, on the pocket, because it's kind of far away, but I am getting some close-up shots with my camera. I'll show you some of those now. All right, well, evidently it's baby animal day up in Rocky Mountain National Park as we finish the day with a mother elk nursing her young up here on the hill behind us. Baby moose, baby elk. Yeah, it's been a fun day up here in Rocky Mountain National Park. A little bit stormy, but it's starting to clear out now as we come to the end of the day, which is typical. Four summers up in the parks and afternoon storms and then beautiful evenings. Thank you for coming with us up to Rocky Mountain National Park today. We'll see you next time. <laughs>